Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to Brian's Garage and Home How-Tos. Today I'm going to be removing this gauge cluster from my 68 C10. Uh, I've got a few tools that I'm going to need. A very small flathead screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver, which I'm going to use on my drill to make things go a little faster. A uh, pair of needle nose. Um, you can probably get away with a pair of regular needle nose, but if you got a bent pair that's angled like this, it's going to be a lot easier for taking off these uh, dressed up silver back nuts behind these knobs. And a uh, five inch wrench. I haven't taken one of these off yet, but I've kind of examined it, and this is what I can see that I need so far. So we'll go ahead and get started and we'll see if we need anything else to complete the job. Start by taking out all these Phillips screws. All right, so there's six all together. Um, you've also got two here at the bottom of the steering column. Kind of holds this little bracket on, so I'm gonna fold this thing up and uh, we'll get these two on the bottom off also. This little bracket right here come off beneath the steering column. Set that to the side. All right, now for these these knobs. This one here I did take off earlier. Um, it was really a pain, but I don't know if you can see. There's a very very tiny screw in there which I needed this little screwdriver for and if you loosen it up it makes it come off as easy as it just did right there for me so loosen that little booger up and it'll come it'll slide right off of there uh, these other two on the 68 I have a choke and I have my lights left they're a little bit different so in order to get those off, I'm going to use, well first I'm going to start here, I've got these little angled needle nose, and I'm just going to use these to get it started, and I can turn these things off here. There's two little holes in there, I'm just positioning the, the nose of the needle, nose uh, pliers in there and turning it so that I get it started. Alright, there's two. Over here to the choke. Pull these out all the way. That looks like the cluster can come out a little bit enough to where I can get my 5H wrench back there. Mm 
All right, so I got the nut off the back of the, uh, the choke and I realized that this knob right here just unscrews. And then I can push that through. Choke knob, screw it off. Okay, so this is where I'm at. You saw me take off the choke and I got the nut out for the washer and now the lights. I got my 5 8 wrench in there and I got it loosened up. So I pulled this out and now this is being held on by, let me go under here. <clears throat> that mess right there. this little cluster so if you can see it's got that lip on it right there I'm gonna try to take that off and see if there's something holding holding it inside of that from the cap all right so I got the lights knob out and this is how I did it on this box that I said I was gonna mess with you get the fiddling with it you can turn it upside down I guess you don't have to turn it upside down, but there's a this little button right here, if you will, this little knob, plunger. If you push down on it, it releases the light. So it sits up like this. You can see the water, the wires coming out of it, and then you can get on top of it and push it down, or you can turn it upside down like I had to to be able to see it, and then push on it, and that takes the light knob right out. All right, so back behind here, now that I've got this thing off of the lights, I'm gonna pull it down and out of the way. This was to my wiper blades. I pulled it out and out of the way. This is going to my speedometer. I'm gonna loosen it up. And you really kind of have to do some high-speed yoga moves to be able to get in back here, but I'm gonna loosen this up. I'll loosen these, these bolts up right here. Actually, you no, know, I'm going to leave those in for right now because that's all part of the main cluster. Uh, I'll unplug this. And if there's anything else, I will share it with you. All right, I got the oil pressure gauge uh, disconnected. That is an 8 millimeter to take this off of here. Um, this nut right here was a 9 16 You can leave that on. Uh, you'll just need the 8 millimeter to take that off. After taking the oil pressure gauge off, uh, the last thing that I was left with is this. I was able to get the whole thing out. Um, now I'm just going to try to pinch this down and get it out. I'm going to set you down for just a second. I got this one side up. i to push in and get the other side. that's it that is everything and it's out that was that was more of a pain than I thought it would be I got to be honest so that is how you remove the gauge cluster on a 1968 C10